During the Ordovician period, the climate was very warm and CO2 levels were very high. Look around and you won't see any animals you recognise. Neither will you see any trees or flowers, no grasses, ferns or almost any other kind of vegetation. Life on Earth at this time was under the ocean. It was a time where evolution was doing a lot of experimentation. The end of the Ordovician was kicked off by Earth thermostat firmly flipping to cold. But when it comes to mass extinctions, it's all about the details. Take the end Cretaceous extinction. If you actually count up globally, the species that went extinct is actually the lowest ranked of those five extinctions. But in terms of actual impact, it was hitting well above its weight as entire terrestrial dinosaur dominated ecosystems vanished because of the species that were wiped out. The end of the Ordovician was almost the exact opposite. All major groups lost important species, but none disappeared entirely. Ecological niches remained filled, and despite the loss of manifold individual species, the world basically came back to roughly the same place as it was very quickly. Clearly biodiversity and species loss happened, but not to such an extent that you've actually lost any of the key functional groups that were evolving at the time, as they are still around today.